I'm Destry Abbott. Here's your D8 training tip of the day, brought to you by Recluse. So here I had Cooper do a couple different examples. You'll see how tight Cooper comes in and uh, what happens is now you're making that corner so much more of a V than a U. He basically made that corner so much sharper and that's where he had to do a big pivot. And if I had a racer right behind me and we were racing, I would protect that inside. But when we're doing hot laps or if you have a clear track, then I have the outside. I'll actually have Cooper come to the outside and that's gonna be your fastest line because now he's able to carry his momentum around. Another big thing here is coming in, he'll actually bounce his front end off a rock and that helps him accelerate, put weight to that outside peg is so important and putting weight to that rear end and that's what's gonna help that bike pivot. Making sure you're weighting that outside is so important too, because if you're not weighting that outside peg, there's literally no weight on that rear tire, and then in return, that rear end is gonna slip, it's gonna spin, and you'll probably most likely go down. Another thing is, I'll see riders coming into sections like this, trying to go in between the rocks. You'll see Cooper, he's actually trying to make it as straight as possible, while I point at the line he wants to head to, and then that's when he goes that direction. He's not worried about every rock, trying to go in between, and hitting his discard, hitting his chain guide. Look for the fastest line. It might not look like the fastest line at times, but if you have big solid rocks, I try to aim for those big solid rocks as much as possible because you know they're not gonna move.